Hey guys, Ryan Porter at Next Home Realty Experience. We almost get asked every day, Ryan, how's the market doing? Ryan, is the market still hot? So I'm going to give you guys a little snapshot of the market. This is Rankin, Madison, and Hines County. And I know this is a lot of numbers on the board. I geeked out a few nights ago. So let's start right up here. This is our 2014 to 2018 average. This is 2019, 2020. These are the months of November, September, October, and November. So you can see right here, we used to have a six to 800 house inventory in Rankin County, meaning when you logged into Zillow, you would see six to 800 houses for sale on any given November from 14 to 18. 2019, we had right at 530 houses. You see that number? almost dropped in half in 2020. And still, it's been hovering around that 240 range. What does that tell us with the new houses coming on the market? You see that 160 was the average that fed that? Well, you see down here, the solds were 150. So we were gaining 10 houses a month on a normal basis throughout time. But you knew and pending, you see in September, 201 houses went pending with only 182 houses new to the market. 239 houses sold and 182 houses new to the market. That really eats into that inventory and brings this number down. And don't you know that was a dog fight in September with the multiple offers when you had 182 houses with 201 buyers going after those houses. It causes a lot of stress in being a buyer. You just don't win the houses that you make the offers. There's a lot of losers in this section. So you, the story holds true month after month, but the exciting news is there are a lot of houses being listed in Rankin County. More than ever before, it's 160 was the average. Now we're up above the 200s. Why is that? They're not building more houses in Rankin County. It's it's down to these numbers here, and this is the equity you have in your house. And two years ago, the average price was 188000 2021, fast forward, it's $245,000. That is a lot of equity, so it's making people say, hey, I can sell my house and make fifty grand. i have only had it for two years. I'll do that. It's an easy decision, which we get more news but what we have to figure out where to control it is our pendings in our soul we did hear that the feds thinking about raising the interest rate in the first quarter of 2022 that's why you see those actions taking place they're trying to get these pendings and soul down just a little bit so we can build back that inventory and get it back to a nice five to six month absorption rate the same holds true in Madison County. Look at this statistic. 2019, you could log on to Realtor.com and see 730 houses for sale at any given day. Fast forward, October, November, 182. We have eaten up and bought all of Madison's inventory. Now we've got 102 houses, 136, hitting the market every month. But we have 107 and 113 going pending and sold, 127. These numbers need to be less than this number to get that inventory back. So what do these numbers tell us in Madison County? It's probably going to be like this for a little bit longer. I do not see an interest rate change making that big of a difference, slacking these buyers off to get these numbers back up where they need to be to pump that inventory up. So Ryan's weather forecast in real estate is it's going to be a bumpy 2022 for buyers but for sellers you're going to have a easy time selling your house you're going to make a lot of money in equity thanks guys